This is about the third or fourth video on this 2012 Prius CS, Prius C. As you can see, the standing pressure, I just turned it off. It's been running for about 15 minutes now. I just turned it off. So the engine's hot, interior in the sun is a little hot, uh, even though it's only 52 degrees outside. But with as hot as this engine and all the components are, you should see this like 80 or 90 PSI right now. So what does that tell you? That means under these conditions, there is absolutely no liquid refrigerant in the system. But you're gonna tell me, wait a minute. On the last videos, you just showed us that inside the sight glass, there was liquid refrigerant flowing. You can't be right, you must be wrong. I was gonna give you the answer to this. Oh, actually, let's turn it on and look at that right now. So 44 PSI, hot engine, hot, here we have the i closed it back up so the sun can heat it up inside the evaporator is hot the condenser is hot the radiator is hot but we have 44 psi let's take a really close look at this you see how crystal clear that is actually will this fall over if i start up the engine yeah i think it will we'll come back out here uh we'll start it up and i'm going to show you liquid refrigerant i'm not going to give you no answers there is no, under these conditions, there is no liquid refrigerant in the system. Starting it up. Okay. What is that? That's liquid refrigerant. Am I a liar? Okay, there's an answer behind this. It has to do with physics. It has to do with the three gas laws. It's really simple. I am telling you for a fact, when this system is off and the refrigerant has stabilized between the high and the low side, and they equal out the 43 PSI, I am telling you there is no liquid refrigerant inside the system. There might be two ounces of refrigerant. Tell me why I'm a liar or explain to me why I'm correct. Who knows their gas laws? Simple science, you were taught in sixth, seventh grade science uh, class. See you guys.